handing out signs with this message. Transit advocacy group TTC Riders is calling a day of action today at 40 subway stations. They're trying to stop what they're calling Ford's TTC takeover and a proposed $1.1 billion in funding cuts over the next 10 years. There's already long waits for the TTC, there's overcrowding, and uh, there's already a wait for the new streetcars, so I think enough is enough. I've ridden public transit in other cities, and it's a lot stronger, so I feel like there should be more investment, not cuts. Uh, mostly positive, I mean, there's sometimes delays, but uh, for the most part, I'd say fairly positive. Can't, won't, wouldn't complain too much. Varying opinions on Toronto's transit system. Everybody who rides the TTC should be deeply concerned about these cuts. The spokesperson for TTC riders thinks life for commuters is about to get worse when $1.1 billion in funding cuts kicks in over the next 10 years. This year alone, we're losing $24 million. That could mean another fare increase. Um, 200, over $200 million of the funding was um, allocated for wheel trans and for accessibility upgrades like elevators and stations and also for state of good repair. If we don't get this funding, we are going to see our system decay. We're going to see more delays, more disrepair in the subway system. The exact opposite of what we need to be doing as a province, as a country, as a society. We need to invest in public transit, invest in alternatives to driving, get more cars off the street from an environmental perspective, from a city planning perspective. I ride the TTC with a stroller quite often, and so it's sometimes hard to get on, have to let a few trains go by. And there are a few stations that aren't accessible, and that makes it difficult for me with a stroller, but more importantly for people with mobility impairment. We reached out to the Ministry of Transportation for comment. A spokesperson released this statement. In part, the people of Ontario can no longer afford the financial mismanagement of the previous government, which left us with a $15 billion deficit. Our government is putting people first and protecting what matters most, services like health care and education. Well, what I'd like to see... Uh honestly is that the government sits down with the stakeholders like ATU who are the transit professionals who have delivered over 120 years of professional service moving our 1.8 million people. They have had no public consultation. They have not consulted the stakeholders. We need to be part of that dialogue. On Saturday, May 25th, transit advocacy group TTC Riders is holding a march in Melbourne to protest against the cancellation of Eglinton East LRT and the TTC funding cuts. Malia Sheikh, City News, Toronto.